Hey YouTube, we're back again for part two of our adventure games, The Dungeon. Uh, so if you haven't checked out part one, I'll post a link to it. But we are going deeper and deeper, trying to find this guy in this dungeon. But uh, to get you caught up on where we were, I'm just going to play the last message. And you can actually see how easy it is to leave the game and then come right back to it. Because it's still up on the app, which is nice. So I'll, I'll just play it back aloud. The ceiling over the ivy-covered wall, 308, has collapsed, allowing in a little light from the mine. At the chamber's center is a large stone tomb, 208. A sacrificial bowl, 108, has been placed beside it. To the left, you can make out a crumbling statue, mm. 608, along with an intact statue, 508, Ooh. and a heap of sand, 408. Okay, so we've just been mining, in case you are, are, I'll catch up real quick. Uh, it's Cassandra and Okora, and Okora just fell through when he found this. And uh, we are looking for Beauregard. I think that's his name. So what do we want to check out here first? Just to check you up on the inventory, we have a powder box, we got some coins, a ring, and a large map. Man, maybe this large map. Does this large map mean anything? Not yet, not yet. Okay, so I think we're going to check out this big... Let's check out 308 over here. Let's see if we can... Because this looks like... I mean, we want to check out the light, right? Like, what's what's up here? 308. A few wisps of ivy grow on the back wall of the crypt. You intuitively brush the greenery aside. Uh. Underneath it, you find a hidden shelf carved into the rock face. Ooh. It's empty, apart from a little crystal ball. Take Adventure Card 82 and read it out loud. A crystal ball? Intriguing. Not what I was expecting to find. What kind of dungeon is this? You show the others what you found, and you gather around the crystal ball. Place all character figures on room card J. Who will be the first to take a look? Oh, so I actually get to pick the person to take the look. Do I want to take Cassandra? The attentive. Yeah, I really want to pay attention to what's going to be in this crystal ball. I don't think Okoro's the strong is going to help. So I believe I get to pick, and we're going to pick Cassandra. Cassandra, you are wiser. Let's see what's in the crystal ball. Crystal ball. You can see yourself. <gasps> Very carefully now, you slowly stir a red potion and a blue potion together. You've created an unbelievably powerful potion that destroys unnatural beings. It's a good thing that no one else knows the formula. Read entry 757. 757. Really you? An uneasy feeling creeps over you. Maybe your old self made decisions that you would now question. What? You hear a loud crack and the crystal ball splits in two. You drop it in surprise and it smashes to the ground, shattering into a thousand pieces. Return Adventure Card 82 to the box. Okoro's gonna be mad. Why'd you break the crystal ball? So, uh, red potion, blue potion mixed together makes great things. So right now we have this autophobia, which uh, I, I don't know if it's really impacted me yet, but it's a negative thing. All players, including you, can combine adventure cards. Wait, as long as you have this card, you cannot explore any locations or combine adventure cards with locations when there is not at least one other person in the same room. So I think I tried to do that and I cheated. But what, what are we going to explore next down here? Is crystal ball broke. Let's check out this 508. Let's check out this tomb, see if we can find a weapon. I still feel like we're going to need a weapon. Examine the large statue. Time has left its mark. Who knows how many centuries it's been standing here. The sculptor must have run out of ideas by the time he got to the head, though. Or out of time. Huh. Okay. Not sure what that's about. 108, let's see what's in here. Maybe there's some red potion. That'd be great. Beside the tomb is a stone pedestal with a sacrificial bowl. Alchemy was performed here not long ago, for the basin still contains residues of interminable liquids and powders, mm. along with several broken glass vials. One of the vials is still intact, though. It contains a thick reddish liquid. Oh! Take Adventure Card 38. Boo yeah! Okay, hold my hand a little bit, but I don't mind it. 38, what do we got? The red potion. Free action, you may drink this potion. If you want to do this, read entry 225. Hey, what's up, Okoro? Let's drink. So, 225. Have adventure card 78. 
If so, then read entry 625. 625. Otherwise, read entry 725. We got 625. The red potion has barely touched your lips when the madness releases you from its grip. Take adventure card 86. The madness? Okay, that sounds, uh, that sounds bad. That sounds like it could be a problem. A moment of clarity. Bit by bit, your senses are returning agonizingly at first, then quicker. But mania won't loosen its grip on you without a fight. You have one last vision. If you are Okoro, we are Okoro. So we're getting a vision. What is going on? This is not what I expected when I thought I was breaking out of jail. The mind's eye. You see a gloomy chamber. At its center is a stone throne bearing the symbol of the League of Guardians. The longer you stare at the throne, the more you're convinced that this place is evil and that the throne is cursed. Read entry 971. 971, what? I'm having visions? I don't even know. I just want to get my guy and get out. Vision then ends, and you gradually return to your senses. Oh. Next time, you should be more careful what potions you drink. Return adventure card 78 to the box. Okay. That's it. I drank the stuff, had some visions. This is not helpful. Oh, all right. Well, let's keep looking. Maybe we'll find something useful. 208. Not 288. 208. Tiptoe over the tomb at the center of the chamber. Tip, tip, tip. The lid has been removed, and you venture a peek inside. It's empty. Oh. The corpse, or whatever lay oh. there, has been moved or stolen. You spot a few fragments of rock in one corner. A few fragments of rock in one corner. Okay, so we got some uh, grave robbers. Not sure why that's happening. 608, do I want to look at the other statue, or I want to check out 408, what's on the ground? Let's check out the other statue. It's kind of hidden in the dark. Maybe this one's got a weapon. 608. I'm very disappointed. I wanted to bribe someone or stab someone by now. <laughs> The foot of the damaged statue is a little stone slab. When you knock on it, you realize that the cavity behind it must be hollow. Oh. Unfortunately, you can't see a way to open it. There's a little groove in the shape of a lightning bolt at the center of the stone what? slab. What? Uh, yes, please. Lightning bolt? Edric, you my dude. 19608. So we're going to combine the lightning key and this statue. So we type in 1908. Which is really genius how they did this. Very cool. 19608. Hopefully this works. And let's see. This is uh this is her. She's doing it. Ring stone fits perfectly mm. into the groove. With click. a soft click, it opens to reveal a gemstone. Return adventure card nineteen to the box. Take adventure card fifty seven. Goody gumdrops. I don't care about this gemstone. Cool. Don't care. 408. Let's check it out. I don't want gemstones. I want to find Beauregard and escape. 408. Maybe there's something hidden in that heap of sand in the corner of the room. You dig down almost to the bottom and actually do find something. Take adventure card 34. Wow. Skeptical much, narrator? Shard of glass. Whoa, the shard of glass. Part of a stained glass window. Okay. Okay, that's big. Let's take it. Uh, why is it big? Why is it big? We're just going to go fix a window. Whose turn is it? <laughs> I like how it works. It makes like a little castle. It's very cool. This The aesthetics of this is really, really cool. So we got 34, 104. Let's put it together. Let's see what happens. Come on, do good. If you insert the shard of glass into the stained glass window frame, it fits. You open the window a little and look at it against the light. In doing so, you notice that the blue sections shine particularly brightly. Return adventure card 34 to the box. Take adventure card 79. Huh. Okay, do we want to shine this window onto the steps? That seems... That seems like the move. 79, 504, let's go. 504. No entry. Man! 79, 504 is not going to work. I answered that right. Yeah, 79, 
504. I don't know what to do here. Ooh, I had a little bit of a standstill. Was this the time where I need to look up how to get a hint? I think I should, because I don't actually know how to do it yet. Um, and I don't remember how to do it. So let's see. Uh, maybe it's this question mark. Let's try the app. App has been amazing so far. Help function. Attention spoiler. The help function, you get tips for the yes. Help function. Uh, what, what, what? I don't know. I want letters. I don't want numbers. <laughs> why, do I, why would I want numbers? Up? Tutorial? Maybe? I think it's going to be easier to look in the rule book. Did I lose my old adventure book? Ah, I do lose my old adventure book. Oh, okay, wait. No worries. We know where we are, so let's check it out. Rules are short. Need a hint. Health, end of the game, saving the game. Game overview. Rules for cards. About combining. Where's the stuff for the noobs? Hints. Okay. Uh, location hints. How do I get the hints? The hints below tell you the location at which you find the card, what you might combine it with, and more. Okay. So the question is, what do we want to hint on? This is a really cool hint system. Okay, I see how it works now. I bet if I type it into here, that is actually genius, Cosmos. You are just nailing this right now. I feel like I'm in the future. So we want to hint on 504, right? Because that, that's the goal. I don't care about the stupid window. Let's see if we can get upstairs. So I type in 504 hint. Go. Can... Riddle that can be solved with 79. The blue parts of the window show the numbers 3, 4, 7. How in the world? Then read entry 347504 to reveal room K. Wow, that tells you exactly everything you know. Let's see if I can digest this and we can, we can recreate it. Riddle that can be solved with 79. So I had 79. So let's let's go back and let's just start experimenting a little bit. No entry. No entry for 79. So we go 104 or 79, 104. Maybe that's it. No entry. You no, know, so it's not 79, 104. We're just going to assume that these guys are going to keep trying anything. So um, 79, uh, 504. Maybe, maybe I just typed it in wrong. 79, 504. No entry. 79, 204. No entry. So what do I do with 79? Let's go back to that. So let's let's type in the hint 79 because now I'm really curious to see how this works. Combine 79 and 34. Combine 34 and 104 to receive 79. Okay, we already did that. This window hides a three-digit code, 347. Oh, are we not looking at this? Close enough? Is there like something on the card that maybe we're missing? I don't see anything. Huh. Necessary for location 504. So, let, all right, let's just go back to 504 and let's let's play this out and see how it works. All right, we got our hint. I feel like we have a good amount of hinting that we've utilized. So we'll just go to 504 again. Continue up the stairs until you reach a section of worn steps. You warily place your foot on the next step and a few pieces break off and fall into the depths. What now? Then you notice that each step has a little marking. Who knows? Maybe it'll work if you walk on the steps in the correct order. Do you know the right combination? Then read the six-digit entry XYZ504, completing the combination with the three digits of your choice, X, Y, and Z. Does anyone have Adventure Card 76? If so, then read entry 622. Okay, so I still have no clue how we're supposed to get there huh so i am legit stuck here i looked up the hint and i could just skip past 504 but i'm really kind of intrigued how do i get to 504 because uh, let's try 104 again i don't know let's try 104 colorful sight in this gloomy place the stained glass window brings back memories of better oh, so, days. so something's missing uh, let's type in 79 again. Entry. Oh, entry. I'll try 79 104 again to see if there's some clue we missed. Entry. 
79 and 104. No, I know you go together. 79, 104. No entry. No entry? What? <laughs> I am very perplexed. So, let's keep looking at the hint. I guess we're just going to skip ahead. I don't know how to do this. So, this would be like a hard hint that you could get. But here's the thing. I do like this. <coughs> Let me tell you why. So, if you play adventure games, especially on video games, a lot of times you get stuck. And you'll get stuck on a level, and you just won't know how to beat the level. And then the game sits there for weeks, for months. And then you get back to the game, and you're like, I don't remember where I was. I don't remember what I was doing. I don't know how to do this. I don't remember the controls. I don't know this. And then you just restart a new game. I really like the fact that this is just like, hey, you know, this next part's really hard in this video game. You want to just jump ahead of it? Because we can, we can do that. And that's really cool. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm a big fan of this. So uh, let's get that hint back for 504. <sighs> And we saw with 79, the blue parts of the window show the number 347. Then read entry 347504. So we're skipping ahead. Let's pretend we solved the mystery. Someone much smarter than us did. 347504. Oh, no. Oops. 347504. 504. Carefully tread on the step with three marks, <gasps> then the one with four. With a spring in your step. You then leap onto the step with seven marks. Well, fancy that. The steps remain intact. Awesome. A short while later, you reach the top of the stairs. You open the trap door in the ceiling leading up to the tower and climb through. Return adventure card 79 to the box. Take room card K and place it above room card H. All right. Then you place your playing figures on room card K. Suddenly, you hear a low growl and something very large comes bounding out of the shadows towards you. Uh -oh. As if turned to stone, you remain rooted to the spot, and a chill goes down your spine. Take Adventure Card 55 and place it face up on top of Room Card K so that it covers all location numbers. As long as this Adventure Card is there, you may not explore any locations in Room K and may only interact with Card 55. It's the beast, Whoa. and it's more terrible than you imagined in your worst nightmares. With a deafening roar, the beast launches itself towards you, swiping at you with its paws. Do you have Adventure Card 77? If so, then read Entry 447. Otherwise, read Entry 547. 77? I'm going to guess 77 is that other lady. <clears throat> we do not have. Which, if so, otherwise read 547. All right, we got a big beast coming at us. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Before you can even react, the beast has pounced on you and inflicted deep wounds to your arm and cheek. Taken by surprise, you stumble backwards through the trapdoor. As luck would have it, you manage to slam the trapdoor closed behind you as you fall. You lose two health points. Place your character figure on room card H. Ha. Huh. So we lose two health. Uh, who actually got into this whole idea? We, we, we got confused... So we'll take it on whichever one's going to be worse, which it looks like it would be Okora. Taking that damage is worse. I'm going to keep a track of the health over here. There's a lot going on right now. So, wow. So the beast. When you end your turn in the same location as the beast, you lose one health point. You must not explore this location. You can combine this card with another adventure card with the right combination. The beast might be defeated. And remember... Beast, no purple light. That was the big thing. Beast, no purple light. So we need to somehow get purple light. How do we get purple light? Do we have a gem? Do we have a purple gem? I don't know. We do not. So I don't want to go back up there. Maybe we can try 5576. Maybe we can see if Newhawk can take care of it. You never know, right? Newhawk, go check it out. No entry. No entry. Okay. So Nuha, it's not on you. Three oh four. Let's go back to three oh four. Go back to her cell. No, nothing is in her cell. I don't know. This is really tricky. We've explored everything down here. You go to two oh five, one oh five. Let's go back to one oh five. Let's talk to this guy again, maybe. Uh, down here? Was there more stuff down here? I think we checked everything out. Did we check out 408? Yeah, because that's where we found the shard of glass. This is where we found 208. 
was the body. So we've checked out everything in here. 308, 108, 208, 408. How in the world? Have we checked out every single location? That's the question I have right now. 312, we went to the box. 112, let's try 112. What if we just try and leave again? Four bridges down. Freedom is within reach, but you're not leaving without your friend, Berengar. You return to the castle, determined to find him. Oh, I really don't like you right now, Berengar. Let's try 204. Let's listen again. Maybe there was some subtle clue we missed. Several notes hang on the walls up the stairs. Important. Prisoner 304 is annoying, but highly intelligent. She could still prove useful. Yes. Prisoner 404 is attacked the guards again. She will be disciplined next week. And digging in the east wing, currently suspended due to tunnel collapse. The other note appears to be some kind of map. Take adventure card 45. The map. What is this map? What can we do with this map? <clears throat> I don't even know. It looks like a map... Of, of a tunnel maybe i should try the map on the different spots in the tunnel maybe that's the ticket let's go ahead and do that so who's first uh you are almost dead so you can go 303 you'll go 203 so we got 45 203 entry try 45 303 he said as he lost hope Entry. Oh, four, five, four, three. You're gonna fail, aren't you, too? No entry. Man, I don't know what to do here. Let's look back at that beast. We got we got sheets of paper. We got scrolls. We got coin. When you end your turn on the same location as the beast, you lose one health point. You must not explore this location. You can combine this card with another adventure card with the right combination. The beast might be defeated. I don't think I don't think anything is really going to help us, right? Rose quartz. We got two gems. We got a powder box. We got candles. <clears throat> 404. No, I don't want to get clawed and throw it again. 302, 702, 40. Let's go talk to Edric again and see. I don't even know. Wait, 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 wait. This guy knows stuff about gems. 205. He wanted gems, right? Didn't he want gems? Like the first cell door, the second also has a little barred opening and a golden lock. Do you have adventure card 75? If so, then read entry 522. Otherwise, read entry 644. Six four four. Prisoner's face appears in the opening. Hey you, he hisses. Please help me get out of here. You reply apologetically. I'm sorry, but I don't have the key for this lock. Damn, I'm going to rot away here. Don't despair. Maybe there's another way to get you out. What do you know about this dungeon? He thinks for a moment. Not much. Like most of the other prisoners, I work in the mines. He becomes more animated. If the guards have gone, you may find one or two gemstones with a little luck. Okay. If you get me out of here. So I just fast forwarded. We already gave him his drink. So let's go check out 105. We got to go back and talk to some of these people. There's something we're missing. What? What is it? First door has a little barred opening and a golden lock. Does anyone have adventure card 74? If so, then read entry 522. Otherwise, okay. read entry 544. Five four four. You look through the bars in the door. You see a very old man with a beard leaning back against the cell wall. You clear your throat quietly so that he notices you. He turns slowly to look at you. Well, well, well. What have we here? You don't look like a guard to me. Then my congratulations on your escape. Then he grins at you. Curious, you ask him. How long have you been down here? He considers for a moment. I've long since stopped counting the years. When I first arrived here, I was still young and had a full head of hair, but that was a long time ago. I've been working in these mines ever since, digging up stones and earth day in, day out. But where are my manners? I'm Monty. It's a pleasure to meet you. 
His smile reminds you a little of your friend Beringar, and you return Monty's warm greeting. Say, Monty, do you... Uh, it's going to take us to card 81, which we've already done. I, I hate to do it again, but are we going to have to use another clue? I feel like... Well, here's the thing. I'm going I'm I'm to call it a wraps if I cannot figure out what to do after 55. Because I feel like we're skipping... But there's stuff I'm missing. <laughs> and I imagine if you were a better explorer, you'd be finding it. And that, that I think, is something really fun. If you had more time to explore the game. Whereas right now, I'm just trying to give you a feel for how the game works. So I am going to use the hint on 55 because I have no idea how to get past the beast. I know he doesn't like purple light, but we lost our stained glass window. So I was thinking maybe we could hurt him with that. Maybe we just go up there and uh, we, we try... I don't even know. Throw a powder box at him. Hmm. Let's just type in 55, see what kind of help we can get. Because, yeah, I'm at the point. So this is tricky. This is hard. I like this. 55, go. Combined with 39. We don't have 39. What is 39? Where do we get 39? Okay, so now if I type in 39, it'll hopefully backtrack me to what we missed, which is exactly what we want. So let's go 39. Combine 32 with 38. We don't have 32 or 38. Combine 32 with 38 to receive 39. Combine with 55, which is another thing we don't have. How do we not have so many things? What are we missing? I am the biggest noob ever, apparently. And this might be where the, this, this video ends. I was hoping it was going to be, you know, part two. I triumphantly escape the dungeon and figure out what I did wrong. But I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> And I don't just want to keep backtracking, because here's the thing. I'd like to play this with uh, my son and, and give it a go. But, man, there is so much stuff that I feel like we're missing. I'll go back one more. Combine 32 with 38 to receive 39. So let's just see what 32 is. It's at location 402, which we don't... <laughs> adventure games the dungeon wow this okay we're gonna give it a go we're gonna see if we get no more hints i'm gonna see if i can backtrack to figure this out and find out what what we missed like do i need to be looking at cards more closely or something All right, i'm really gonna dig in See, there's some sort of number that I'm missing somewhere. There's a symbol there. Uh, Hendrick, you're in my way. Nothing by Hendrick. In here, this door's still locked. We checked out the books, right? I think we checked out the books. Pretty sure we checked out the books. Let's check out the books. Let's go check out the books just to be safe. I'm pretty sure we did. The shelf across from you are countless books. Yeah, we did including this. Including Forbidden Alchemy Through the Ages, On Reviving Dead Beings, and The Chronicles of the League of Guardians. Your interest peaked. You flipped through them for a while before coming across this passage. Following lengthy negotiations, the castle built over the Forgotten Tombs came into the League's possession. A blank page flutters out as you turn the page. Take Adventure Card 40. I've already done that. Because that was the blank page, which I combined with the powder box. <sighs> Maybe the powder box we can use somewhere else. Let's try 33308. Let's try smearing it against this. I don't know. We're grasping at straws. Entry. Can I just go through the hole? Just escape and just forget about Beauregard forever? <laughs> Be happy. Like, why is Edric here? What 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 game do you have, Edric? Why are you just waiting to get caught? We flipped the switches, right? This one got us lower. 
I don't remember what 705 did, but I know we did it. Let's go back to room 305, see maybe there's something in there we missed. Door to the second cell is unlocked. You notice some melted metal on the floor in front of it. Are these maybe the remains of the lock? That must mean that someone else has escaped too. Unsurprisingly, you find that there's nothing left in the cell of any value. I'm getting close. I'm getting close. <laughs> Ladies and gents, this game might just crush my hopes and dreams <laughs> this particular attempt. Because I'm going to try a couple more things, but I really do feel like, uh, wow, this is this is tricky. I like this. Let's try 502, 802. Let's try some of this stuff down here because we did the red potion. We mixed it with the blue potion. I had visions. The visions, maybe I should have paid more attention to the visions, but I didn't feel like any of them were relevant. Let's try 208 again. Tiptoe over the tomb at the center of the chamber. You spot a few the fragments of rock removed, in one and corner. And you venture a peek inside. It's empty. The corpse, or whatever lay there, has been moved or stolen. You spot a few fragments of rock in one corner. What? The blue and pink make purple? I don't, I don't, I don't know colors. We got money. Let's talk to Edric again. Maybe we could bring something to Edric. Let's bring the map to Edric. You know anything about this map, Edric? Probably not. No entry. Nope. No entry. What? I came to... Oh, 407. Uh, can I take the map to him? 45, 407? Maybe? Maybe I, maybe I should be leaning on Edric harder. No entry. No, you're scrub, Edric. <laughs> Are you exploring this location for the first time? If so, then read entry 468. If not, read on here. Edric greets you warmly. Ah, it's oh, I've already bought everything, so it's still the same thing. It's the shopkeeper. I don't see anything hidden on these cards. But then again, I still don't know how we were supposed to figure out the steps. Like, how how are the, how the stairs? Like, what, what did I miss here? Oh, my gosh. Three, four, seven. How are you supposed to find that? 79. Let's see if the clue in here was, was more a uh, hint. 79. The window hides a three-digit code 347. Yes, so that's how I could have figured out how to get up the stairs to find the beast. So let's find the beast. 55. Entering room K to receive 55 combined with 39. Entering room K. Wait, was I? Were we supposed to find something when we entered room K? Was that? Did I miss that part? Because that might be a huge thing here. Let's see, fifty-five. Entering room K to receive fifty. Oh, fifty-five is the beast. So no, I have not missed anything. So I have the beast card. When you end your turn in the same location as the beast, you must lose one health voice. You must not explore this location. Can I type in K, though? Do I still get to type in K? Let's go back to the stairs. Let's go back to the stairs, and I want to listen to that one more time to see if there was some crucial detail I might have missed. Continue up the stairs until you reach a section of worn steps. You warily place your foot on the next step, and a few pieces break off and fall into the depths. What now? Then you notice that each step has a little marking. Who knows? Maybe it'll work if you walk on the steps in the correct order. Do you know the right combination? Oh, wait, I have her! Six-digit entry, XYZ504, completing the combination with the three digits of your choice, X, Y, and Z. Does anyone have Adventure Card 76? Yep. If so, then read entry 622. So we didn't actually need that hint. I just don't pay attention. Okay, so this is why you might want to take some notes from time to time. I'm, I'm seeing that now because... So we do have new house. So we would actually type in six two two, and we would we maybe the beast is nice to us when we have new house. Check it out. Next, you study the steps with markings. New ha also eyes the symbols briefly, but then looks past you towards the stained glass window. I think the markings have something to do with that. The missing piece of glass will reveal the order that we should walk on the steps. 
So it would say 347, which means then we would have the code to get up. And let's listen to that one more time. Okay. So we did actually need that. Turn off the stairs until you reach a section of worn steps. You warily place your foot on the next step, and a few pieces break off and fall into the depths. What now? Then you notice that each step has a little marking. Three, four, Who knows? seven. Maybe it'll work if you walk on the steps in the correct order. Do you know the right combination? Then read the six-digit uh, entry. Uh, so this one very closely. Five. You carefully tread on the step with three marks. Then the one with four. With a spring in your step, you then leap onto the step with seven marks. Well, fancy that. The steps remain intact. A short while later, you reach the top of the stairs. You open the trap door in the ceiling leading up to the tower and climb through. Return adventure card 79 to the box. Take room card K and place it above room card H. Then place your playing figures on room card K. Suddenly, you hear a low growl and something very large comes bounding out of the shadows towards you. As if turned to stone, you remain rooted to the spot and a chill goes down your spine. Take adventure card 55 and place it face up on top of room card K so that it covers all location numbers. As long as this adventure card is there, you may not explore any locations in room K and may only interact with card 55. It's the beast, and it's more terrible than you imagined in your worst nightmares. With a deafening roar, the beast launches itself to... Before you can even react, the beast has pounced on you and inflicted deep wounds to your arm. Okay, so we, we took the damage. We already did that... I was hoping maybe with New Hot it'd be some different outcome, but no. So we're, we're here, and I really don't know what to do. And that is awesome. This game has successfully outsmarted me. Not saying that that's that impressive, but I think that's where we're going to come to a close on this one. I might restart this up with my son and do a Bauer Family Learns on this potentially. Uh, but for now, I feel like it's going to cheapen the experience if I just go through and I, I if I actually did go through every single hint and find out exactly what I did wrong. So I'm not going to do that because I want to I want to explore, you know, maybe my son is going to be able to figure out what this large map was supposed to do or what that purple cryptic message was supposed to do. So that is where we're actually going to leave it on Adventure Games, The Dungeon. Uh, so this looks like it might be a cup of tea, which I I am absolutely recommending this. I think this is one of my favorite games that I've played in quite some time. As long as you go into it knowing it's more of a uh, more of an not even a choose your own adventure, but just more of a exploration game. You know, it's an exploration mild adventure game, and I really I am digging the heck out of this. Some of the puzzles are going to be definitely too tricky. Um, for kids, so you wouldn't want them to do this by themselves, most likely. But playing this as something that you could do as a family and you can help them out or lean them one way. Because you get your own completely separate turn, which is what I really like. So your kids can be over here just banging their head against the wall trying to, you know, re keep reaching into the gas and be like, all right, I'm going to keep going into the gas. Whereas you could be figuring stuff out. I really... The more I like this, I want to play with my son right now. I might, ju I might just <laughs> edit this, and we might start the Bauer Family Learns of this one. But uh, there you go. That is the Adventure Games, The Dungeon, one of the most interesting games I've quite tried in quite some time. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.